As long ago as I can remember, I've been interested in space. I used to drag the telescope out across the garden. I first got interested in space when I was on Cubbon Scout camps and we did stargazing. So I remember being a kid around the Childminders and sort of finding a space book there, reading through that, well, probably looking through the pictures more at that age. When I was growing up, I had a number of different role models, all based around science and space and aviation. I'm Tim Peake, British East astronaut. On December the 15th, 2015, I travelled in Soyuz TMA-19M on a mission called Principia. I was at school when Tim went off into space, but the moment I got home, I watched it on the TV with my sister, and it was awe-inspiring. So I had a group of students in the morning, and then it actually worked out that he launched during our break. Like I put it on my big screen in the room, and then we all watched him launch. One of the greatest things about Mission Principia were the outreach projects that we ran. Over 30 projects which ended up reaching over 2 million students. Astrofy was a competition. It challenged students across the UK to create an MP3 player that would run on the International Space Station. I won my age category and Tim Peake tested it and he said it worked great. That was very inspiring for Year 9 me. I believe Astrofy was a great starting point for my career in STEM. It was sort of the first step. It really kicked things off for me because I got to see that something I made could be used on the space station. In 2017, I won the UK Space Agency's National Satellite Competition, in which I designed the idea for an app called SatCoast. I got to meet Tim, my hero, at the UK Space Conference and he motivated me to take the next steps within my journey. There's an enormous team of people who are making missions to space possible. There is so many different careers that you can have in the space sector and that's what I think is so exciting. During the time that Tim was on the ISS, I was teaching physics in secondary schools and I just remember the kids being so enthusiastic, so interested in what he was doing. Seeing this big buzz around space in Britain and having studied astrophysics for my degree, it inspired me to go on to pursue a career in the space industry. So here I am now at Goonhilly Earth Station working as a space scientist. I'm an engineer at Goonhilly Earth Station, primarily involved supporting upgrades to the antenna. Also outside of that particular antenna I do daily rounds and check upon the antenna health. If I can work space into any of my lessons, for me it makes my job a lot easier. Young people are hooked on it. If I can link anything to space, I'll instantly have them wanting to learn about the topic. So the students who watch the launch, they've now gone on to study STEM subjects at university. Space is our future and I think it's really important that today young men and women see the UK at the forefront of what we're doing in space exploration. I hope that there'll be many young men and women in the UK who will have the opportunity to follow my footsteps and have a mission to space too. I mean the dream would be to be able to go up into space at some point myself. Uh, ideally I'd love to go to Mars but maybe baby steps on that one. It's really quite special because it's not every day that a British person gets to go up into space and that makes you think that if he can do it, then we can too. Tim's mission to the International Space Station showed me that it was viable to actually have a career in the space industry in the UK. It's difficult to describe how much it has affected me. You know in life there's just, there's crossroads. And I feel like that was definitely one. I'm very glad I ended up on the road I am right now. I'm currently at Robinson College, Cambridge, and I'm studying physical natural sciences. I think it's really important we have British astronauts because it, it's far more relatable to, to those of us who live here, especially for young people when they're sort of striving for maybe what they want to do in future. I mean, everyone wants to be an astronaut. I mean, I know I did when I was growing up and you go, oh, I'd love to do that. Hearing the stories of how Mission Principia has impacted people has just been so inspiring to me. We'd like you to go to the UK Space Agency website fill in their survey and send us your video of how Mission Principia has inspired you.